Some of those that work forces are the same that bar crosses. Kill me in the name of. Now you do what they told you. Now you do what they told you. Those who died are justified. But where are the bad? Yeah, you're chosen white. Now you do what they told you. going to attempt to convey the understanding of this r ritual, which is what it was, a ritual conducted, a mass ritual conducted in the light of day for all to see of dark occultism. And w what this ritual contains within it is the symbolism of three major occult traditions, Kabbalah, Tarot, and Freemasonry. What people will say is, well, I don't believe in any of that stuff, therefore it can't have any effect in my life. And this, what I always respond to that is, you don't need to believe in anything for something to have an effect in your life, okay? You don't need to believe in a religion that some crazed lunatic that does believe in that religion acts upon and is acting upon those beliefs and causes havoc and chaos that affects you. You don't need to believe in that person's religion. I don't un even understand where this concept comes from, where this phrase, if, to me, it's pure mind control of somebody to utter those words. You know, it's like saying, oh, I, I don't have to believe, I need, it's like saying, I need to believe in greedy people for greedy people to affect my life. I don't believe in human greed. That's not part of my worldview. So greedy people can't possibly affect anything that happens to me in my life. It's, it's nonsense. Pure fucking nonsense. Is what that is. It's bunk. And anybody that still thinks that, quite frankly, they're an idiot. And that's the, the most direct and blunt way I can put it. If you think you need to believe in something for other people to act upon their beliefs and for those actions that have effect in your life, you're clearly a moron. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say about that. This represents the unification of church and state, which is what the dark occultists are seeking. See, the old world order is royalty slash religion reigning. The new world order is government as God. It's the symbolic relationship, the correspondence principle that we're looking at here. And this is what occult thinking is. And people need to stop being dismissive of it and realize that the people who are really controlling your life think this way. It doesn't matter whether you b believe that, accept it, think that it's, it's correct or right. They, I'm telling you they do. I worked with them and this is how they think. So again, I say the same thing to other people who don't want to believe me about the occult. Dismiss all of this information at your own peril. These are how your owners think. This is how your owners think. Period.